Hello guys, here is Michael Mark and welcome to my work channel. Here is my body uh, protect and put what we work as the teamwork and put what on the left and protect on the right. Put what is his nickname, his real name is Robert and Putak is his nickname too, his real name is Peng Sophia. And they work very hard at Cambodia to helping the poor. A lot of life is the poverty life and nobody can help because they didn't have any system to helping them. So these two guys is my buddies working so hard over at Cambodia that everything gonna be helped a little bit. Who talk and who what went to Chap Yung Billy to see one single mother that she had tumor on her neck and on her arm. She worried about it and she did some money to have the surgery because it's gonna wait so long going to cause to the cancer. She is 35 years old and her husband died when he went to Thailand to earning some income but after that he accidentally he just he died and she had to raise her daughters by herself when she was the baby. And right now she is uh, 18 years old. And the problem is still the problem in her life. She is very poor and she is a single mother. She struggles to working for her life. You can see all this, how they live in Cambodia. It is not like in America. In America, we got a lot of fancy stuff, but over there, it hardly to have the shelter to live. They're all so poor, and then you can see their house. And she asking for what and protect for help. On the left side is her daughters, and. On the right is uh, her, and this is the third time that Bhuvat and Bhutak uh, went to see her at Chapyum village in Kandal province in Cambodia. Like it wasn't easy in Cambodia as I always mentioned about because they have no job available and everybody try to work hard and searching for any job available. It Sam over and over life this hard generation to generation. I'm not sure what is really going on over there. It's so sad and uh, I just try to help the best I can because I live in uh, America. It's a lot better than over there, it's gonna, over there, it's hard to having a job and afford a family, like sending the kid go to school, or have enough food to eat, have enough clothes to wear, and get good shelter to live. But you can see all this situation and the housing, clothes, and light and food, all kinds of. Uh, dirty and it's not healthy either. At one dollar here it's nothing but over there one dollar four thousand real but at least they can help themselves like they spend for one thousand reels a day but here the one dollar is nothing if, if somebody have the heart can help them for twenty five dollars it's a big help and uh, make their lives a little better to start it over again. You know, like when their life got stuck, like the car stalling and need to get sick. But when they, they got help and donated by a general people, 
$25, it can help them to start their life again. You know, some people really got stuck and have no food to eat, no money, no anything around, and uh, they didn't have any clean water to use too. They have to use the water pond very dirty, don't know what the kind of germ and bacteria in there, but they have no choice, they have to use it. If they don't use it, they cannot uh, survive. I used to go through all those situations. It's very, very hard to searching for water or searching for a food. And you used to see uh, in the television show about like 10 days away or 15 survival, but it wasn't that hard. But just people never got through to the situation. They don't know how to survive. And then it for me, when I watch it, TV, I think a lot of way we can survive, but a lot of easier than in Cambodia because uh, over there, uh, they got the family. Survival that they show on TV, it for me is very simple to searching for food because they only live by themselves with no family to raise or anything. But just people know experience about their life, that's why it's so hard for them. And they don't know even how to search for water, they don't know how to search for a food either. But those show is just a show, but this is for a real life for, you know, the mothers. Her name is Paul Contier. It She just face in her real life how to survive, how to uh, make her life better with her daughter. It's very sad, you know, it like no opportunity like here because no system of the government uh, helping them with no medical, no Medicare help, no system of the government help them out, like get some food stamp or stuff, but they have to live in their hard situation. They have to find a way how to live. It, it's not easy at all. And that's why I just put a lot of my time to help and then working with my team and probably get some donation and send to Cambodia to help them out. At least can help them a little bit to start. But right now, her hand uh, already got the surgery because donated by the gender people. And her daughter got one bicycle and give her some little money to start her local business for her living. But right now they're so happy for whatever we do. And this is the end of the story. And we'll see you guys on the next video. Stay tuned, please. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, if you would like to support, please subscribe and click notification bell to receive new video upload to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much for your support and you will like you. We'll see you guys on the next video and you guys have a wonderful day. Bye bye now.